There's a special court program in our juvenile justice division called um, a court designed for commercially sexually exploited children or CSEC in terms of the acronym. It's held in Department 90 and our presiding judge, Ms. Gerilyn Borak, oversees that court program. It's a very specialized program. It's something our office is very proud of. Um, we helped pioneer that court along with the Public Defender's Office and it has now grown to be a very well recognized program throughout our state. We're contacted by other um, counties and agencies to ask what we're doing and to share our ideas so that the same approach might be used in other places. It is designed and geared towards helping youth who have been commercially sexually exploited or who are at high risk of being exploited. And we really wrap them in services, um, designing the court to meet, number one, safety goals, keeping these kids safe, and number two, giving them the appropriate treatment and services to help um, improve their lives and help keep them out of that life. So we have lots of youth um, in that special court program who are involved in child welfare and involved in the juvenile justice system. So their cases are very complex and we have, again, a very collaborative team approach where, for instance, the district attorney doesn't wear the traditional hat as a prosecutor. Um, we, we team together, we meet together, we work on cases. These cases change day to day. Situations and circumstances change. They're very fluid for these young people. And so we work very closely together as a team to come up with solutions and plans for these young people. They are in front of the juvenile justice court for having committed a delinquent act for example, a petty theft or giving false information to police. But in studying their case and researching their background, it comes to the attention of the parties that this young person has been exploited, whether it be a young lady or a young man. So we have both in this court program. We serve both and we see them very regularly to keep track of what's going on, what are the positives, what are the improvements, and what are the areas that we need to continue to work on constructively to continue their safety and their well-being. Um, and you talked about a team effort, a collaborative effort um, with, I don't know if you said organizations, can you tell me what organizations you team up with the most and what services they offer? Yes. In this special court program in Department 90, CSEC court involves, again, our presiding judge, so the juvenile court. It involves our office, the district attorney's office, the public defender's office. Sometimes conflict criminal defender attorneys are appointed to represent the youth. Uh, we include probation and we include the child welfare division or dependency personnel. So county council is present. Um, we have lots of social workers through child protective services. We have staff from the UC Davis um, Care Center, and there's a give specialized um, information, education, and therapy and treatment to youth who, as you can imagine, have experienced early childhood trauma. So those are the, are the key members of the team in that court program.